help you? She's waiting. How much damage? Fuck, 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 Hazel! <laughs> well, better start jumping. My bunnies require a fair bit of food prep throughout their day. Uh, hay, pellets, herb mixes, and veggies are all part of their daily diet. Around 3 in the afternoon is whenever I usually give them their veggie and herb mixes, and I better not be late because Hazel will fucking know. <laughs> Chicory, fennel, basil, parsley, or some of the greens that they really tend to enjoy. Sometimes they also get celery and spinach too, but it really depends on what we happen to have in the house that day. Oh, and carrots are a favorite too, of course. Unfortunately, because of their high sugar contents, you should, you should only feed them in moderation, as bunny guts aren't really built to digest very sugary stuff. So if you feed them too much carrot, then your bunny is just not going to have a fun time. Fetch Hazel. Nam? If my shoulder. Fetch. Nam nam? Hello. Hi Fetch. Hi Hazel. Lekker meis. Ja, hè. Niet meteen alle petersselie te snoepen, hè. snoepen, hè. Hezel ook voor Fudge overlaten. Fudge nam? Lekker, hè, Fudge. While bunnies are able to eat a lot of different veggies, be sure to have them stay far, far away from anything that's related to onion, garlic, cabbage, or the potato family. Um, I forgot the exact reasons, but I believe it has something to do with the buildup of gas. Fun fact, did you know that rabbits are unable to fart? So if they have a lot of gas buildup in their intestines, all they can really do is express that they're in pain and usually they'll press their belly against the floor. It's really sad. I also feed them a nice pre-made dried herb mix alongside with their veggies. Usually mixes contain seasonal herbs, dried flowers, sometimes different types of woods which are safe for them to chew on, and similar things to that nature. Again, Hazel really, really likes her herbs. <laughs> Fudge doesn't have quite as infinite of a stomach like Hazel does. So after roughly 10 to 15 minutes, I, I take their shared veggie and herb bowls away, basically just to prevent Hazel from consuming everything. Cause trust me, she fucking will if she has the opportunity. Okay, Fudge, here you go. That's your pellets for the evening. And here's yours, Hazel. During the night, I always have to split Fudge and Hazel up just so that they both can get their respective amount of pellets. Hazel is essentially just a black hole, so if you were to leave her with a shared food bowl full of pellets, Fudge most likely will not get anything to eat because she would have devoured everything before he even gets a start at it. That plus Hazel constantly eats throughout the day, even when I don't actively give her food, so she only really needs a very small amount of pellets to sustain herself. Again, the vet has told me plenty of times like, hey, 
If she eats more than this, she's gonna be overweight. Let's take a fat little bunny. And who's my scrawny boomer bun? I want to give a special shout out to Matt, Mathitia, Romanov, and Adlai Prieto for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all very much. <laughs>